Hi everybody! Welcome to Craft Your Noon with Stephanie and Yento. Yeah! Today we are going to show you a really cool um, project that we are going to, that we learned how to make from the children's book author Greg Pizzoli. He taught how to make this on his Instagram um, kind of read-along thing. So I watched that and he taught me. So it's pop-up cards. So you have just a regular looking card and then you open it up and it pops up with a message. So this one says happy birthday and this one just says hi. So these are great ideas that you can make for people for holidays or um, birthdays, special occasions they might have coming up or because many of us haven't seen our families in a long time. Um, you can make these for aunts and uncles, grandparents, um, cousins. They would really appreciate getting a really sweet little note from you. So you can make this pop-up card however you want. So let's show them what all we need. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you will need we is some scissors. We're going to, to cut this little flap we're going to do. A uh, glue stick, some construction paper, colored paper, whatever you have on hand, and then a white paper, because that's what's going to go on the inside of it, and some markers to color and decorate your whole card, and I just have a pencil just in case. So the first thing that Yandel is going to teach us how to do is to make our little cutout um, flip, mm -hmm. and this is we used cardstock because we had some here at the library, but at home you can use just white computer paper. And basically what you're going to do is fold your paper in half, and then you want to take scissors and make two parallel cuts. Maybe like probably three quarters to an inch long. Okay, so once you do that, then you're going to take your fold and you're going to bend it forwards, turn your paper over, and bend it backwards. Okay, so open up your paper and then you're just going to use your finger and flip the little piece that you cut so that it makes kind of a square. So that when you fold it back again, you have kind of a missing piece here. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And this is where you're going to glue, use your glue stick and glue your message. Okay, mm -hmm. so the next step that you wanna do is go ahead and, and write your message um, on your paper and right here again we'll just use another piece of paper and then just wrote something on it I think on the other sample that we have um, if you don't mind yeah thanks it, on the other sample that we have I just used um, just a pink paper and wrote happy birthday um, so you can just cut any size of a square out of paper and before you glue it, you want to write your message. Mm -hmm. So, who do you want to send this to? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it should just say hello. Ooh, that's a great message if you just want to say hi. Hello. I'm going to make it fancy. Ooh. Yeah, take your time with these cards. They're really fun. Ooh. Oh, so this is a nice little message. that and then you also want to put glue on one side of your paper okay and then you want to fold it and kind of use your hand and kind of smash it down and that way the glue kind of sticks to it 
And the next step that you want to do, you've got your message inside, is glue it to a base cover. Because you don't want to send a card that looks like this. Mm -hmm. You want to send a card that is whole on the front. So you want to glue that down. And be generous with your glue. You don't want it to come off. Now, avoid gluing down your square that we cut, the cutout, because we still need that to pop up. I'll do the corners really well. I like the color choices that you made with a bunch of blues. Blue and blue. Okay. got that glued down. You want to fold it, make sure that your message pops up and give that a good crease with your hand. Now, uh, if you want to do like this card, we just left it blank on the front, which you could do, or you could write a little message, maybe who it's to, in this case, Grandma. Um, oh, and you can write, um, make a little design like this one has a little bear in it or this one has some little bunting mm -hmm. um you could also use all this white space just to write a letter or a message mm -hmm. it's up to you okay so we've shown you everything you need and how to make your own pop-up card so we love it if you made your own card and you put a picture of it in our comments below so that we can see the work that you made mm -hmm. and stay tuned next month we're going to be making some binoculars okay. so make sure to check us out next month mm -hmm. bye guys bye.